John Mark back with another aggression talk. It's 6 a.m. right now. Just finished my morning cardio, obviously. Same time as always, I woke up 425. I added an extra step to my morning routine, however, where I write for a little bit. Whether it's, you know, writing a message to my clients to send them out, uh, send out in my in my school community, or whether it's writing an idea for a video, something I wanna share on social media, or just writing to myself to reinforce my inner inner beliefs and you know my inner process all of those things i just i feel like i'm the most clear when it's this early hour of the morning i play a little bit of classical music and and that's what i do but during my cold shower and throughout that period i was reflecting thinking about you guys and thinking back to my journey and, and the things that i've struggled with and the things that have held me back the most and I thought about something I like to call the cycle of despair. And self-improvement, and especially in the space with how it is right now, all the YouTube videos, all the gurus, all the people posted about, you need to do this, this is the poor, perfect morning routine, three hour morning routine, no morning routine, all of these different things. And it made me think back to a period that I still struggle with. All of us can be at fault to these things. When I sit here and I say, this is what you're struggling with. You need to stop doing this. I'm talking to my younger self, but I'm also reinforcing to myself the things I struggle with on a daily basis. The difference is I'm at a level now where I do not miss on my morning process. I do not miss my 425 wake up. Monday through Sunday, every single solitary day I wake up. I do not miss training. I do not miss my meals, but I still have battles. I still go into negative frequencies. I still say things that I don't mean. I still act out of alignment because none of us are perfect. That is the human condition. We are always pushing for more. But I am in an authoritative place where I can talk about this because I don't talk about anything that I haven't mastered. And since I have mastered the personal development side with my mindset, habits, nutrition, and training, I'm able to give you guys this information and this is going to be so beneficial. Watch this video all the way through, at least before you comment, watch this video all the way through. Because if you comment and you haven't watched the video all the way through, everyone in the comments is gonna clown you because I probably covered your topic and if you were just like trying to shit on me, everyone's just gonna laugh because you're telling me that I hurt your feelings and you're trying to cope by commenting. So at least watch the video all the way through. I guarantee you'll get something out of it. But the cycle of despair, when you're on personal development, the reason that you aren't able to hit your wake up and you do it for a day or you do it for a week and you fall right back into your habits, the reason you relapse on porn and even though you told yourself and you committed, no more, I'm done. When you went into that low frequency, when you went into that state of desire, which desires the lowest frequency, you went right back into it. And as soon as you close that browser, after you cheated on yourself just to get a nut, you feel like shit again. Or you're so far down the rabbit hole that you don't even care. Your conscious is so out of alignment with the man you're supposed to be that you watch porn, you jerk off like a little bitch, and you don't even care. You just go, you just fall asleep, no ambition, no goals, just to do it again the next day. But most of you guys on this channel, you've gotten past that point, at least to the point where you feel like shit after you commit an action that you told yourself you weren't going to commit. But the reason all of these things happen, the reason you can't stay consistent with your training, the reason you can't stay consistent with your macros, the reason you can't make steady progress every single day towards your goals, and when you feel like you have finally made it into the clear, a test arises and you falter and you go right back to where you started. The reason why you are in this cycle of consuming a piece of media or consuming a YouTube video, trying to apply it, getting the dopamine hit from the information and being like, this is it. This is the next thing I could, that I need to do. This is the key that I've been missing. But then after a week or after two weeks, you fall right back into your old habits. The reason is because you are in what I call the cycle of despair. And I get it. I truly, truly get it. 
I've been in the cycle of despair so many times and it still knocks at my back door, it creeps. I can fall into it so easily. Everyone is subject to this cycle of despair, but it comes from a lack of true intention. Most of you guys are just going through the motions. You're waking up so you can check the box. You're going to the gym so you can check the box. You're only using my fitness pal just to say I'm tracking my food, but you're not actually doing it with intention. You wake up and you struggle to get out of bed and you slug across the floor. And if you do hit your wake up time and you don't go back to bed, you get up and you just kind of go through the motions. And that is why you have no motivation. Motivation is pointless without discipline. You have to have motive, you have to have discipline or motivation is an empty feeling. But that motivation, when combined with discipline, can breed a fire inside of you. But the only way for a fire to keep burning strong, the only way for it to be a raging inferno inside of you is for it to have instant, it's for it to have endless fuel. Endless fuel. How do we give it endless fuel? Every rep that you do, whether it be mental, physical, spiritual, every rep, stop just going through the motions. When you go in the gym, stop just doing your set and just lifting the weight, but connect with it. Don't just go with the flow, connect with the flow. When you get in your cold shower, be present. Don't just wander into your bathroom and turn on the shower and be like, oh, another day. Think about why you're doing it. Think about how it's benefiting you. Every rep in the gym, squeeze, connect with your muscle. Connect with your morning meditation. Don't just sit there and try to just make it through the timer, but make the most out of it. You will continue to go down the cycle of despair because no matter what routine you get off the internet, even if it's my routine, no matter what you are taught, even if it's what I teach, the 545 method, even if you finally figure out how to achieve and implement the four pillars of man like I've taught you guys, and if you do implement that, you won't even be able to just go through the motions. You'll have to do everything with intention if you do it properly. But if you are still just drifting through life on a personal development journey and you are just going through the motions, that is almost worse than you just drifting. Because you are telling your brain, I'm putting in all this work, but it doesn't actually mean anything. And that is how you get trapped in the cycle of despair. I see a lot of you guys come, you're like, I've been waking up early. I haven't watched porn. I quit smoking weed, but I just, I just, I feel the same. I feel the same. You don't have the fire inside of you. The reason I'm able to get on here every single day, I don't post a video every single day. I did for a couple weeks. And while I never miss my wake up time, I never miss my training, anything. When I post a video every single day, you guys take it for granted. So I've decided I'm not going to post a video every single day because the aggression talks don't hit as hard. You get the notification or you watch and you're like, ah, okay. But when I starve you guys out a little bit, a couple days in between, you come back and you actually listen to what I have to tell you. So I'm going to continue doing it like this. I am teaching because in teaching you learn and in learning you teach. That's why you guys are able to go tell your friends about these things. You know how many people I've had be like, dude, I've sent my buddy your aggression talk and he needed it so much. This is a, it's almost like whatever the opposite of a virus is, but positivity. That is what we're doing. I'm going to impact this generation. I'm going to impact this generation. I'm already doing it inside my school community. 54 killers in there. You know how ass it is to wake up at 425 and only have you for motivation? I did that for, for years, for such a long time by myself. The cold mornings, the push-ups out in the freezing cold, the cold shower with everyone laughing at me, making fun of me. And now that I have this community, I'm able to provide it to where you guys don't have to go through it like I did. I'm providing the information and showing how to apply it inside of my tribe, tribe aggression. 
And I'm glad that there's only 54 members because if I made it open to everyone, if I made it open to everyone, I wouldn't like a bunch of the people that join because they don't have what it takes to actually impact that community. They don't have what it takes to actually impact that community. But my guys don't go through the cycle of despair because of the way I teach it. But the reason you're continuously scrolling is because you're listening to these people like Hamza, who's just trying to sell you into his alpha male sex course in his school community. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Yes, this is my business. But every single business is, is based on how much can you provide service to someone? And that is what I'm doing. A hundred percent. But the reason I'm able to talk with such invigoration and such conviction is because what I'm doing is actually teaching. The reason all these YouTube guys want to keep you in the cycle of despair and they don't want to actually help you is because they want to keep you coming back for more. They're just serving you that dopamine hit like a little personal development fiend, but they're not teaching you to actually implement it and take and take relentless action, relentless intention on those habits, on that process. That way you keep coming back for them and you're like, what's the next dopamine hit? What's the next dopamine hit? Because if they, if you never get better, they can continue to serve you that. And that's what they want to do. I want to impact. That is what drives me. I want to make a change. That is why I have created an unbreakable persona inside of me. Yes, I still struggle, but the things that I have made unbreakable are what keep me driving forward. They are what keep me driving forward. No one is perfect, but if I've made such a habit that I can never ever miss my 425 wake up, no matter what, no matter if I get three hours of sleep, let me tell you guys a little story about my wake up and I posted this for my community and I think it was very, very impactful. A couple nights ago, uh, my dad texted me and he asked if I'd drive down to their side of town. They live about an hour away from me. And he was like, hey, um, we're gonna be going to your little sister's uh, volleyball game. We're gonna be there late. Could you come by by any chance after you finish working and let the dogs out? And you know, I looked at my Google calendar, I looked at my schedule and I was like, sure, why not? Um, this was on, on Friday and I thought I might as well go train at my old gym because right next to my house when I go do that. So I went and I trained and I, I let the dogs out. And when I was training at, at my gym, I saw, um, one of my buddies who he works out very, very hard. Like he is, um, he doesn't live up, uh, near me. Obviously I moved away, but you know, we still stay in touch and he's, he's an absolute dog. Like trains extremely hard, amazing physique, very, very disciplined. So I still hang out with them. I have so many friends that I've lost that I don't talk to anymore because they're not like that. They're not benefiting me and they're not going to come with me on this journey. So they've chosen to not be in my life anymore. That's their fault. But with him, he was like, yo, do you want to train back in the morning at like the gym opens at seven? And I was like, sure. So obviously I'm still going to wake up at 425, do my morning process and then just go train at, at 7 a.m. So I decided I'll just sleep at my parents' house. And we've got a little guest bedroom that I just decided to sleep in because there's nothing in, in my old room anymore. And so I sleep in the guest bedroom and there could have been no worse scenario. The dogs were barking all night. I had to wake up like four times and go in there. I couldn't sleep. Everything was just awful. And I thought about when I woke up that next morning, my very first thought was I've gotten like one hours of sleep. My alarm goes off at 425. I reluctantly get up and everything is telling me just get back in the bed. Just get back in the bed. And the thought of going and training, I love training. But the thought of going and training in that instance was like living hell. All I wanted to do was get back in the bed. But my frame of reference was clouded by the fact that I was tired. It was clouded by desire. It was clouded by a negative framework and it was clouded by the fact that I was putting myself over others. So I went onto my phone and I texted him. I said, Hey, I was like, I didn't get any sleep last night. Um, I'm just gonna, uh, let's just train this week. I sent the message. 
I walk back over to my bed or the guest bed and I look at it. Sheets are open. It's warm. My body is freezing cold. I'm still got like eye boogers inside of my eyes. Everything is just cloudy. I just want to curl back up and get in the bed. But that, that habit that I built, it hit me. And it was like, what are you doing? Who the fuck cares if you got one hour of sleep? Go perform anyways. This is what you've trained your body to do. And I thought it and I was like, no, I'm not going to have a good workout. I don't have any food in me. I'm dehydrated. All these little bitch excuses. But I taught myself not to even go to battle with the excuses anymore. But to just completely disassociate them with anything that's going to sway me. There is no option but to do what I committed to. And in that, that moment right there, I thought about the quote, what do you do on your test days? What do you do on the days when you're tested? And I was like, that's all this is. I've made so much progress. I always teach this so I will be tested more than the others to see if I actually continue to live out the life that I preach, even when the days are hard. And I got a little smirk on my face. One hour of sleep. And I walked back over to my phone. It had only been like one minute. So I was still able to unsend the iMessage. If you have an iPhone, you know, with like the new update, you can unsend messages. I think it's like two minutes. I unsent the message. And I say, yo, text me when you wake up. Because he, he, he wasn't waking up at 425 if we were working out at 7. And you know what I did? I made my bed. Went outside. I did 50 push-ups in the driveway in the exact same spot where I used to do it when I lived at that house. Went inside, 32 ounce of water, went upstairs to my old bathroom, freezing cold shower, sat down on my Mac, did some writing, worked on some things, worked on some programs. Then I went and I made some coffee and I got ready to go train back with every single piece of energy that I had in me even though it wasn't that much. And guess what? It was great. I had an amazing training session. All because I elevated past that problem. You see, we get tricked. The way we get stuck in this cycle of despair is because when you're doing personal development, you think because they've taught you that everything has to be optimized. But the danger of everything being optimized is that you forget how powerful you truly are. Everyone in my comments, this is the recurring theme. As soon as someone new watches my video, I can almost know if I, it says like new comment on YouTube studio, I almost know 99% of the time what they're going to say. It's going to be a little bitch ass comment saying, what time do you go to sleep? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You guys think that you have to have optimal eight hours every single night. Is it best for your body to get eight hours of sleep? Absolutely. Is it end of the world when you don't? Nope. Is it better sometimes to only get three hours and show yourself what you're capable of? Yep. But you want to sit here and be like, oh no, my alkalinized water. It's not perfect this morning. I can't do my routine. I didn't get enough optimized sleep. I don't feel, I don't feel perfect. I can't go to the gym. Your process is supposed to be a performance booster. It's not supposed to be something you have to rely on. Not everything has to be perfect. The only thing that you should rely on are the things that people can't take away from you. People can take away the ice bath. People can take away the red light therapy. You know what they can't take away? Discipline. They can't, no one could possibly take away an early morning wake up. That is within you, you choose that. No one can take away exercising. You may not have a gym. You may not have any equipment, but you can drop down and do 150 burpees. You can drop down and do 50 push-ups. You can get your blood oxidation pumping and you can elevate above any problem. Those are the things that are a non-negotiable, but people could take my cold shower. You could put me somewhere where the water's not cold enough to give me the effect, 
I'm still going to try and do it. But if there is no shower, if I'm out in the woods, I'm not going to be like, oh, I, I, I haven't been able to take my cold shower. I can't do my routine. I haven't gotten three hours of sleep. I can't do my routine. I don't have my, my lemon salt water. I can't wake up. No, I don't do that. I wake up early and I attack with what I have access to. I didn't have my pillow that I like to sleep on that night. I didn't have sleep. I like sleep. I didn't have a meal before I went and, and, and trained. So yes, that, that workout wasn't going to be optimal for muscle growth, but that's not what it's about. It's about up here. Because once you have created a superpower up here, everything flows from it. That's why it's mindset habits, nutrition, and training. Not mindset last, not mindset middle, mindset first. And everything else stacks on top of it. But they all flow into each other. It's like an infinity gauntlet of life. And it's, it's true. You cannot get out of the cycle of despair without mindset, habits, nutrition, and training. That is the only way to get out of this YouTube, social media, personal development cycle. Where you see everyone making these videos saying like, personal development's a scam, it's not working for you. It's because they got stuck in the cycle of despair and they didn't have the balls to pull themselves out of it. They didn't. And I so many times have gotten stuck in it. I can think back to so many times when I was just like, what's going on? What is going on? But it's because I didn't take every rep with passion with the framework of I get to do this. When I woke up on Friday and I had no sleep, you know what allowed me to elevate past that? Besides I besides me have building that mindset that wouldn't let me get back in the bed when every single other person would have folded no matter how strong and gotten back in that bed. Every single other person would have folded. What allowed me to stay up was the fact that I was able to live in that exact moment and think about all my boys that I train. Not just, not just my elite one-on-one -on -one clients, but everyone in my school community too. If I slip, they fall. And sure, I could text them later and be like, morning boys, I've been up since 425. I could have slept till nine and done that. But my frequency would be off. My energy would be off. There's people on YouTube that lie. There's people that come on here and they say they're doing this and they're not. But you can tell. You guys can tell. And they could have some good information. But the reason I get on here and these videos connect with you, the reason it's different, is because I'm not on here flexing a Lambo trying to get you to listen to me. How I'm getting you to listen to me is by living out my life to a T exactly the way that I talk about it in these videos. And so when I speak it, you can feel the energy transfer. That is what's different. That's why it's called aggression talk. Aggression talk. This generation is lacking in aggression. Everything stems from aggression. That's where the passion comes from. That's where the drive comes from. That's where the ambition comes from. It's that aggression, that relentless intention in every moment. I don't care if I got one and a half hours of sleep. I will attack this workout with aggression. I will take the next step with aggression. That is how you get out of the cycle of despair. Because you can take any person's routine. And if you apply aggression to it, you will make progress. But you guys are too busy focused on getting 1% better every day. We have a weekly group call in my community. And we went for like two and a half hours. It's every single Saturday. I actually posted it. The video before this, you can go watch. It's two and a half hours. I'd skip maybe like five minutes in to where we get to talking. And someone actually made a, a comment with all the different timestamps about what we were talking about. But if you haven't gone and watched that, go listen to it on the way to work. Listen to it in the gym. Go listen to it like podcast style and take notes because that is valuable. But we were talking about what you do on your test days. And I was like, all of these people, 
they see all these problems happening to them. And the reason everyone talks about getting 1% better every day is because they only have little small problems because that is all they want to take on. And sure, you can get 1% better every day and, and, and get exponentially better in a year. But what if you had problems so big and overcame them that you could get 50% better in one day? <laughs> I'd rather do that. I'd rather have big ass problems that allow me to take way bigger steps towards my goal. Think about it like this. Here's a plane. If this is my goal and this is where I am now, right? If I have tiny little blocks, each block being a problem for me to step on, and there are 1% difference, each of them, it's going to have to be a much further timeline for me to reach my goal than if I had one block that was 50 1% blocks and I had to climb and build something just to get on top of one block but that one block allowed me to get to my goal in just two steps the step might have taken me way longer but you can progress so much faster if you're not sitting there being like every little optimized step every little optimized step and I'm not saying to get there as fast as you can but there is an efficiency to not giving up when the slightest problem stands in front of you. And when you are equipped with the four pillars of man, when you know how to implement the 545 method, which I'll give you guys a short lesson right before I end this talk on, but when you have those weapons in your arsenal, it doesn't matter if you have a 75% block in front of you, you're able to conquer that bitch. Because all problems stem from within you and it comes down to how much are you willing to sacrifice. The world is not happening to you, it's happening for you. When you have a huge problem in front of you, look at it as a blessing. Because you now have the opportunity to progress way more than everyone else. If life's just constantly giving you little problems, you should feel out of luck. Because in reality, life's only giving you tiny little opportunities to get better. Instead of one big ass opportunity. But most of you guys, opportunity is when luck meets preparation. Luck is when opportunity meets preparation. I'll say that. I said it backwards. But when this is offered to you, most of you guys cower and you're like, oh no, I can't conquer this. And you go back to the porn. You go back to the weed. You go back to that girl that's a loser that's not even good for you, but it's comfortable. You go back to that dumbass friend group. You go back to the food. It's a vice. You go back to the nap. You go back to the old life because you see the problem and you look at it as a problem and not an opportunity. And that is why you're stuck in the cycle of despair in this personal development loop. That is what they are not telling you. All problems can be solved with the right amount of effort, but it comes down to how hard are you to kill? Is the character that you've built in this game, will it see a little problem and die off immediately? Or will it fight with every last piece of effort that it has? Every last piece of effort that you have, will it be applied into overcoming this problem so that you can get better than most people do in a month and one week? That is how you progress faster than others. You take on problems that others aren't willing to take on. If you make sacrifices that they aren't willing to make, you will go places that they aren't able to go. When you attack everything with aggression and you use that framework, life is not happening to you, it's happening for you. Now, if you're still stuck in the point of just getting started, I'm going to teach you about the 545 method. And even if you're deep in your personal development journey, this will be very beneficial to you because I use the 545 method all the time and I've specifically created it out of what I use to change my life. I still use it when I get in a stagnant period where I get stuck. 
I'm going to give it to you guys in simple terms. And I break this entire thing down inside the mindset, uh, inside the mindset channel, inside of my community. And then I actually teach it to my one-on-one -on -one clients. When we work together on our one-on-one -on -one calls, we talk for, you know, as long as they need and we work through their problems. But in my community, I teach it. And in simple terms, it's five goals that have a very deep meaning to you. And you're going to keep those five goals and you're going to set them for at least, you know, at least three to six months out because that's the time period that you need to make major change. And you're going to reflect on the man that you want to become, the life that you want to live. And don't just think about material things. Think about how you want to talk, how you want to think, how you want to act. How honorable do you, honorable do you want to be? How kind do you want to be? How resilient do you want to be? And write those things down. So that is an actualization of who you want to become. And then take those five goals. And from those five goals, you should create a four-step morning process. And then five tasks to complete during the day. The four-step morning process should stay the same every single day for at least a month. And then if it's changed, it's only changed to one variable at a time. Because if you change three things at once, then you're not able to track the data about what helped you progress and what made you take steps backwards. So a four-step morning routine, and once you implement it, stick with it for a month. And then if you change, if it's working, don't change it. But if you get a month gone and you realize, okay, I think that I can optimize this a little bit more, change one variable and test. But then your five tasks are the five most important things you need to get done during the day. And those should be changing every single day. You should start with the most important, finish it, and finish everything else. You need to have at least five things that you're getting done during the day. If you have one big ass project that's looming over you, make it that one thing. But every other day, you should have at least five tasks. And those change every single day. The 545 method. It keeps you from sitting there in analysis paralysis, being like, where do I start? When's the best time? The best time is now. The best time was two years ago, but the best time is now. Because when you sit there and wait for the perfect opportunity, the perfect opportunity will pass you. There's no more perfect opportunity than right now. And think about this. If you always wait till Monday, what if right now the circumstances were perfect, but you waited till Monday and now the opportunity's passed you? Start now at this exact moment and implement the 545 method. From that, you are able to dial in your mindset, habits, nutrition, and training. And you will become unstoppable. You will become unstoppable. But to get out of this personal development loop that YouTube has you in, you have to take imperfect action and you have to measure every rep and do it with intensity and with passion and think in the midst of the struggle, how blessed am I that I'm healthy? I'm able to do this. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what you've been through. I see way too many comments that are all excuses. Some guy commented on my video and it's all just a cope. He was like, I guess suicide isn't real then. Suicide's very real. One of my best friends when I was 11 years old hung himself. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. But I don't make excuses. You can make as many excuses as you want. I don't feel bad for you. You can get better or get bitter. Every time you comment hate, I laugh because you make the algorithm do better from my video so that I can actually reach more people to impact. You're helping my mission. But I feel bad for you because you're so blinded by your own ego and your own envy. You want to be like me. You just won't drop your fucking ego enough to actually implement it. Because you know what that means? That means telling yourself that you're wrong. And that's what I had to do. And that's what I have to do on a daily is tell myself, I'm wrong. I'm wrong about that. I got to fix that. I'm wrong about that because I am human. And my vices want to take over. My laziness wants to take over. But I'm better than that because it is creatable. You can create the man you've always dreamt of becoming. But you have to start implementing instead of just taking in information from all these gurus. I love y'all boys. Every single one of y'all boys that watches these videos this far. I truly care about you. 
I truly care about you. And that is why I'm transparent about everything. I want you guys to level up. I want to make a change. I am actually at war with all these people every single day. Iman Gadji, Hamza, all these motherfuckers. I'm going to disrupt the industry and they're not going to like it. They're not going to like it. There's a lot of blue check marks in my Instagram stories because they know I'm coming. They know it. And that's not even me being egotistical. They know I'm coming because they know that you cannot speak with this conviction unless you live it. And when I'm reaching a larger audience and a larger audience and spreading my message, we will be unstoppable. This generation will attack every day with aggression. And I'm coming for the whole industry. I'm coming for this whole entire industry to make every single one of you guys ripped, rare, with a resilient mindset, an unbreakable process. Because every single person, every single person that's high up that wants to keep you guys weak, wants to keep you guys bitches, wants to keep you guys a slave to this system, a slave to your vices, a slave to your impulses. They're not going to like it. And they're going to do everything they can to stop me. And all the people that are hating, they're going to do everything they can to stop me, but they don't understand. That just adds fuel to my fire. There's an inferno burning inside of me. And I'm taking a match and I'm lighting every single one of you guys' fires because my fire is so fucking big that I can give out a spark to every single solitary one of you and still burn bright. And all you guys burn bright and it fuels my fire even more. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm able to wake up at 4 a.m. That is what I share. That is my mission. Yes, I sell life change. I sell personal development. But it's because I actually get results. Go on my Instagram. Look at the results that I've gotten. Look at the lives that I've changed. Look at the guys in my community that are saying, I've been in here for two weeks and this has already changed my life. And I'm just getting started. So when you sit on here and you're like, this guy's just selling a course. He's just selling. I'm selling you a better life. Of course. Of course. That's what everyone's doing. That is what business is. And it is an exchange of value. And the reason I'm able to charge is because I actually am providing what you seek so desperately. But if I didn't charge for it, none of you guys would actually commit it's the emotional investment that makes you commit. And every single one of my guys is like, this is the best thing I've ever invested in. Even all of my elite guys, they're like, I'm so glad that I did this. Because once you know the truth, you'll never look back. And then you impact hundreds of people. And then that person impacts hundreds of people. That is how we make our everlasting imprint on this world. But it starts about it starts by becoming the highest version of man that you can be. Developing your mindset, habits, nutrition, and training. Hitting that early wake up. Dropping all the vices. Stopping smoking. Stopping watching porn. Stopping indulging on shitty food. Stop being lazy and taking naps during the day. Stop giving in to your early morning wake up when you didn't get optimal sleep and going back to bed. Stop smoking weed. Stop doom scrolling on social media and start to create. The reason I'm able to preach with such conviction is because of how much I actually care. Because I've been in your position. And I got myself out, but I don't want you to make the mistakes that I did. And I want you to get there faster than I did. Because no mentor is a great mentor. If his pupils don't progress faster than he did. I want you guys to surpass me. I want you guys to level up faster than me. I'm creating an army of warriors. Of men who do not back down. And if you're listening to this video, if you're at this point in the video, that is you. Take the leap. Join the tribe. Take hold of the rest of your life. 
open your eyes to what you are truly capable of. And you'll look back at yourself and you'll be like, man, am I proud of that young man. I don't care if you're 60 years old watching this. You'll look back at yourself and say, man, am I proud. Because no matter how much time you have left, no matter if you're 15 years old, no matter if you're 45, I've got clients that are 45. There's no better time to start than now. Whatever you're going through, I've been there. Mindset, habits, nutrition, and training will get you out of it. And once you feel that fire inside of you, and you feel how contagious it is to others, and you realize that when you start operating not in a state of desire, but in a state of servanthood, when I wake up at 425, when I go to the gym, when I develop this physique, I'm serving others because they are able to look at me as a light, a light that shines so bright that I'm able to guide other men by my way of life. And we will take back every single solitary thing that we were supposed to stand for. And we will not let this generation fall. I will change this industry of personal development. It's gone such down the shithole. I will come in and I will snap the cord. Remember guys, you will always fall to your standards. You should have a bar of excellence. Your standard is your bar of excellence. And right now, some of you guys' bar of excellence is so fucking low that just waking up early still seems like it's a task to you. Going to the gym on the weekends, that seems like a task to you. For me, it's not if I'm going to the gym today, it's what am I training? Which I don't even ask that because I have an app that tracks what I'm training. It's what I track. I've got a custom app and that's where I track all my elite clients' progress in. But my bar of excellence was even lower than yours is right now. I would smoke weed, jerk off, do drugs, eat shitty food, not track my macros, not track my training, mentally masturbate to all these goals I wanted to accomplish and wouldn't fucking do anything. I was believing the lie that the enemy was telling me every single day and I was spewing it to others. You will always fall to your standards. You'll never rise to your ambitions. So what you must do is you must rise. You must raise that standard. How do you do that? Through consistency of a process. Eventually, you'll look back at the progress that you've made and you'll be like, holy shit, I've come so far. And your, your, your bar of excellence will continue to rise. But it's just like when you're doing cardio. If you're staring at the clock, that clock looks like it's not even moving. It goes by so slowly. But if you focus on the action every single day and you take every single rep, every single step with intention, you look back at the clock and you passed even the time that you were going for. You'll even pass the goals that you set in the beginning if you just focus on the action of the process and creating the greatest version of man that you can be. That is how you break the cycle of despair. And that is how you fight back against the lies that are going around this industry. That is how you become the greatest man that your family's bloodline has ever seen. And you owe it to them. Get off of your ass and take action now. Wake up. Realize that the work instills the worth. You, ha you are insecure and you feel like you have no worth because you have not put in the work to gain that confidence, to gain that certainty. But that's what we do. When you have your tribe around you and everyone is working and becoming the greatest version of them that is possible every single day, you'll become unstoppable. I love y'all boys. I'll see you again later this week. If you haven't, go to my Instagram. I'm 
always active on there, posting things all the time. You can see more about what I do and I'm starting to post a ton of reels. I'm just now breaking into some short form content. Um, thank you guys for 15K. I really appreciate it. And um, my promise to you guys, my vow, I will not stop. I will never stop holding myself accountable. And I will never stop serving. Because I am on a mission and I will not be stopped. I have the same desires that you guys have. But I don't give in because I will not fucking lose. I love y'all boys. Stay aggressive.